we're talking about how to sell 30 cars per month. I just wanted to basically pan the audience. I'm gonna give you guys one last shot. This is the third time here. How would you sell 20 to 30 cars? You gotta realize, and I'll, I'll basically help you out a little bit here. You can't just say you have to have a positive attitude. Because I'm gonna give you an example. Danny, if I told you that um, I have a million dollars in that suitcase right there, and it's yours, if you could get from Amarillo to my office in New Jersey, are you in? Uh, I, I would do my best. Do your best, it's a million dollars cash. You can do more than your best. Right. Okay, so, but here's the catch though, Danny. You have to just use a map that I'm gonna give you. He still might be in, but here's the, the, the crazy part about it. What if the map is of Chicago? How can he use the map of Chicago to get from Amarillo to Philadelphia. Forget about if you even know his directions. That's how you get a million dollars. Those are the rules. You can only use the map of Chicago to get from this office in Amarillo, Texas to Philadelphia to pick up that million dollars. It's not gonna happen. Does that make sense? It's not gonna happen because it's the wrong map. It doesn't matter how nice that Danny is. It doesn't matter how positive he thinks about it. It doesn't matter how hard he works. Do you see that example? It does not matter. He has to have the right map to be able to get there. Now. Help me out here. Make sure that it's, there we go. So what you want to be able to do is understand you have to have a map on how to get from however many units you're selling right now to 20 or 30 cars. How many people have heard Danny or somebody else say that this is like your own business? Louder because they can't hear you on the camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how many people believe that, that being an automotive sales professional is like owning your own business? Absolutely. Really? Okay. Then how do you run your own business? I'm an entrepreneur. I can tell you how I run my business. How do you run your own business? Show up to work, get a cup of coffee, wait around for something to happen. <laughs> that's my point, okay? That, that, is my, that is my point that I want to I get to. We're going to... Now, can you turn this over here mm -hmm. so we can see this? Okay. So now... What I want to be able to do is, I'm going to put this on here, there it is. There's eight different ways that you can sell an automobile. There's eight different ways that you can sell an automobile. And I'm going to, I want to get this in here perfectly. Okay. Can they use the notes section at the back of the book? Absolutely, because remember, this, this PowerPoint is completely different than what's in the workbook. None of this information is in the workbook. This workbook was for internet sales, so I'm freestyling for you guys here. Now, there's eight different ways that you can sell an automobile. This is one of the best gifts that I could give you all, okay? If you guys don't use something like this, you're never, ever going to be able to hit your goals. It's not enough to just say, I want something. It's, it's not enough for me to say that I, I want to be successful, okay? You have the opportunity to sell as many cars as you want to sell, but you need to have the right plan, the right formula to get there. So again, does everybody agree with this, that these are the eight ways that you can sell an automobile? Again, there are feedbacks, walk-ins, phone-ups, internet ups, service customers, previous customers, uh, referrals, and prospecting. There's eight ma main ways that you can sell an automobile. The way that I broke this down is that what Danny, as the general manager, I don't know if you go to your sales manager just to find this information out, but when your management team is doing one-on-ones, they should be talking to their salespeople and saying, okay, how many cars are we going to sell this month? I'm going to sell 15, I'm going to sell 20, I'm going to sell 30. Really? Where are you getting them from? If you don't hold them accountable to the where they're getting them from, don't believe them. How are they going to get them? They're just going to show up to work, you're going to take ups, that's not good enough. That's not how it's going to be. I told you folks, I'm on track to hit $100 million. My goal is to break $100 million in three, in three years. Am I supposed to just assume that somebody's going to give me $100 million? Hell no. I've got a plan. Am I going to deal with one company? No, just not dealer synergies making that. I own multiple companies. I own software. I own technology. I, I've got a whole bunch of different things that are going to diversify my income stream. Danny, as a, as a GM, have you heard that? You're a business owner. Have you heard about diversifying your income stream before? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you need to do. You need to diversify your income stream. You need to diversify where you are going to be able to sell an automobile from. Correct? Does that make sense? Like stocks. Absolutely. You want to maximize your opportunity to minimize your risk. Again, you want to maximize your opportunity to minimize your risk. So now, what I did was, remember, my goal 
is I'm not going to settle for I'm not going to settle for just 10 cars or 15 cars. I put my workshop is in how to sell 30 cars. So here's what I did. I basically broke down where I feel I'm going to get those deals from. I put two, and remember, this could change. This is not gospel. This is a formula. Whatever you feel, you're gonna, where you're going to get your cars from is where you put it. So I put two for VBACs, eight for walk-ins, phone ops, internet, service, previous, referrals, prospecting, etc. So I've got it here. But now, let's look over here. It's very important you understand the closing ratios. VBACs are 50%. Walk-ins are 18 to 20% by NADA. You know, phone ups are 50% from, you know, once they make the appointment. Um, internet ups are 50% from when they make the appointment. 10% uh, for service customers, 65% for previous customers, 50% for referrals, and 50% for prospecting. So after I have my data here, I'm giving you what the data is. Let's look at this category. It says, need to talk to this many people to reach my goal. So basically, if I want to sell two VBACs, I need to talk to eight VBACs to get four people back into my dealership to sell two cars. If I want to sell eight walk-ins, I need to up 40 people. This is why it's the same here. So I need to up 40 people to be able to sell eight units. Over here, for phone-ups, I need to speak to 16 phone-ups. I need to take 16 phone-ups to get eight people into my dealership to sell four phone-ups. I need to engage 32 internet leads to get eight people into my dealership to sell four cars. I need to engage 20 service people in my service drive in a month to sell two service customers. I need to speak to 16 previous customers to get 3.1 of them into my dealership to sell two cars. Okay, now, I need to turn around and talk to 12 referrals to get six people to show up to sell three referrals. I need to engage 35 people to get 10 people into the dealership to sell five cars. So now, do you understand? I've got a mathematical plan. Can you move your head a little bit? Because we're in there. And we're good. Is we good? Okay, so um, this video is for you. <laughs> so again, not only have I broken down my goal of how many units I want to sell, I've broken down where I'm going to sell them from. Now, how am I going to get to sell those? I've broken down how many I need to have in front of me to do my road to the sale. Now, I also broke down how many I need to talk to, but it gets even better. Look at this. So from here, I broke it down per month, per week, per day. To sell 30 cars, I need to sell seven per week or 1.4 per day. Or I need to speak to in front of, in front of, I need to have in front of me at my dealership, 99.1 per month, 23 per week, 4.6 per day. Or I need to talk to on the phone or whatever, 179 per month, 41.6 a week, 8.3 a day. Now, question for you. If I had this plan, do I have a way better shot of selling 30 cars next month or not? Yes or no? Loud. Yes. 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 You no, know, the answer is hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, because I have a methodical plan. It's not about hope. I'm going to try real hard. I'm going to work real hard. <laughs> really? Hope is for the homeless. No disrespect. You know what I mean? But you can't hope for something. You've got to put a clinical plan of action together and execute that plan without exception, without fail, every single day. Again, Danny, here's what I would say to you, is that if Greg says to you, how many cars do you want to sell next month? How many cars do you want to sell? Let's just pretend this was April 30th or whatever. Like, if, if for, May, for the month of May, how many units do you want to sell in May? 70. You want to sell 70 cars. Guess what? I would turn around, if I, as a GM, I would do this exact thing for you. I would turn around and put, where am I getting my 70 cars from? This will, I promise you, this will change your whole general manager thing. I promise you. You'll be able to put this thing here, and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Because what this does, this SWATs you. Not LL Cool J SWAT, it's S-W-O-T, it's SWAT. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat assessment. This is going to be able to help you understand what are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, threats meaning challenges. Because if you do this, you'll be like, I'm missing the boat right here, right here, right here, right here. Now, if you find out that basically when you're doing this on a dealership level and an individual one-on-one -on -one basis, that you guys are sucking wind and prospecting or with, with service customers, guess what? Now your meetings, now your trainings, now your focus is all on your deficiencies. See, this would really this, this training system is not just for the salespeople, it's for management as well. Because this helps you get a clear, concise understanding of what your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are of the dealership. Here's the other thing. I guarantee you, Greg's vision, your vision is different from the, your individual salespeople's vision. It shouldn't be. 
You should be the same page of the same book. You should all, the dealer principal, general manager, and sales team should all be projecting, forecasting, and goal planning off of the same methodology. If not, you're not going to be in sync. Does that make sense to everybody? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. <laughs> all right. So now, any questions about this grid? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up here so that they can see this. And again, don't forget, we have the webinar that's in here. 